Geralt! To the druids? Druids aren't any good with wraiths. Oh, suppose you're better. Shut your gob. He's better than any. That's a witcher there. Listen, it's our arena. We've got a wraith that haunts it. Damned if we know how to drive it off. Do you think you could manage? This wraith. I can probably manage it. Need the details. What do you want to know? What kind of an arena is this? It's an arena, like any other. The custom was for the best warriors to clash here. Speakerog boats were famous all across Skellige. Then one day a wraith showed up. How did you know? Told you. He's a witcher. A cunning man. He knows these things. Know anything about this specter? When did it first appear? My granddad told me. His granddad said the wraith was called Ula the Unlucky. Lost every bout he entered, yet all was recovered from his wounds. Ula weren't even able to die like a man. Till one day, Jarl Hormar called a tournament in the arena. In those days, they drew lots to choose their foes, and the Jarl drew Ula, the unlucky. Jarl was cocksure he'd win, so he mocked Ula, ridiculed him till all in the stands were crying with laughter. <laughs> Finally, he raised his arms in triumph, and that's when Ula, who couldn't take it no more, stuck a dagger in his back. As he died, Thoma cursed Ula. May ye lose again and again for centuries on end. That's what he said. Ever since, Ula's haunted the arena, looking for a fight and getting a few. Mean there have been those who've tried to defeat him? You kidding? Everyone's beaten him. Poor bugger keeps coming back, though. Can't organize no normal fights precisely because of that. All right. Could try my hand at driving away this specter. Not for free, though. Get it done, and we'll pay you the champion's purse. And a premium from our earnings to come. Once the fighting begins. After the curse is lifted. Oh, sure you're not getting carried away there. A nah, little lie, but fuck it. Witcher gets rid of the wraith, he'll deserve a premium from the earnings, he will. So be it. One time only, though. Sounds reasonable. Wait for me here. Shouldn't be too long. Come on. Come closer. Don't be afeard. You're sure to win. Come to face the ghost of the arena. Don't be shy. I'll defeat Ulla the Unlucky. Just spare me your jabber, your cries of die, wraith, and I shall defeat you, specter of the arena. I've heard them all a thousand times. Dreadful sick of them. You're no typical wraith. Why not? Because I don't shriek threats and warn you of your death? Well, that's simple enough. Plain bored of that. Besides, I know how to be. You'll spit out some insults, pierce me with your sword, and... I'll then disappear, only to be back here again in a few days. And it'll be so with those who come after you. Such is my fate. I'm to tarry here till the world's end, losing every fate along the way. But you've not come to chat. Draw it, swing it, get to work and defeat the ghost of the arena. Draw your weapon. Draw in, draw in. We'll make it quick. And not too much drama if you don't mind. I defeated you. Seems so. Congratulations. But what have? I was to lose till the end of time. What's that? I hear. 
I hear laughter and joyous cries, the clanking of chalices and a, and a voice summoning me to the feast of heroes. You, you let me win. You freed me. Thank you. The gods be with you. Farewell, ghost. Greetings. Ghost shouldn't pester you anymore. Drinking meat with his ancestors by now. Ah, knew you'd manage it. Well, Gunnar, we're winning. Here. You bet on it? Should have seen it. I said you'd pull it off. Gunnar said there weren't a chance. That's why he's got that sheep's arse frown now. See that frown often, when it's time for me to get paid. You needn't fret. We're honorable folk here. This is for you. And remember, you get a cut of the earnings once we get the arena up and running again. I'll remember that. So long. Greetings. Business is booming for as I can see. Better believe it. Every man and his hound wants to fight in the cursed arena. My cut of the proceeds must have grown sizable. And how? Here. Always a pleasure doing business in Skellige. Come again, eh? Great things are bound to happen here. Mark my words. I hope they do. Good luck. Maybe trolled than me brothers. Mikael and Earl sailed to Hindersfjall to fetch Agda, wedding Zin but a few days. But they've yet to return. A storm broke while they were gone. I fear it might have blown them onto the rocks at Faro. Many have lost their lives there. I'd sail out to find them, I would. But I've got to make sure the wedding's proper prepared. They say it's not fitting for a Skelliger to ask for aid, but I've no choice. Will you help me? Will you seek out my kin? Fine. I'll look around for them. Blue and bloated. Didn't seem to bother the sirens, though. Must have nabbed her body soon after she drowned. Kira's lamp ought to prove really handy here. Merciful Freya, forgive your sons. Meant to escort our brother's betrothed to her wedding, a storm beset us and bastards. All is lost. Agdalai's dead. Her dowry drowned. Tis a taint on the clan's honor. Forgive us, O oh Freya, most noble. Stop, Miguel. Prayer can't wash our shame away. Only blood can. Let's do it as it must be done. There, beneath the tree. We we'll pray, and then end it. Aye, uh, you're right. Be better that way. Footprints. Wonder where they lead. Skelligan Honor. Chose to die instead of living with the knowledge they let down their brother. Freya's symbol, scrawled in blood. Brothers entrusted themselves to the goddess before they died. Got some bad news. Sadly, Agda's dead. So are your brothers. Uh, what? Huh? What are you saying? A storm destroyed their boat. Agda was killed. Your brothers felt they'd let you down. Couldn't live with the shame. They chose death. Found this letter. Might help you come to terms. A letter? That's all that's left of them. Also found your fiancé's dowry. Small comfort, but still. Thanks. Few men would be so honorable. There ye were. I've nothing left in this place. So, no one else dares face me? Is there truly no warrior in all Scanaga who can defeat me? Watch this blood. Should there be a problem? Sam, can you hear me? I hear you. In the dark. Love me too. 
I've not seen you here before. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm Yuta Undimon. No man's been found who could best me in combat. Will you fight me? You? I've defeated Pharaoh's most famous warriors. Men so worthy of respect I don't dare mention their names. And who is Geralt of Rivia? Someone you haven't defeated. Maybe you're not worthy of my time? You performed any great feats? Because I don't believe I've heard. What kind of feats you have in mind? Hmm. I'll fight you, if you defeat Gundar. Couldn't best me, but he's a brave man and a worthy opponent. Good. I'll give it a shot. See you soon. I truly wonder if you will. Farewell. You Gundar? I? Heard you fought Yuta. And she bested me. But there's no dishonor in losing to her. Though it is a shame. Why? It were a fair fight. One worth remembering. But if I had won, I could have presented her an altogether different sort of challenge. <laughs> Seemed a little unapproachable to me. <laughs> she awaits a man she can't defeat. In fact, she's declared that only a man who beats her can hope to woo her. Interesting way to look for a husband. <laughs> Not sure it's marriage she's after. Ah, uh, a lass like that's one in ten thousand. I want to fight you. Why me exactly? Asking out of curiosity, given you're a foreigner. All right. Yuda said she'd fight me if I defeated you. Yuda said that? Means that if I win, she'll give me another chance. Well, come on, let's do this. You step outside the ring, you lose. Got it? Well enough. Good luck with Utah. Greetings, White One. I defeated Gundar. Hmm. Thought you'd be no match for him. All right. We'll see how you fare against me. Ready when you are. Then let's start. May Freya choose the victor. Surprised you have a hard time finding worthy opponents. In the end, one came along. Where'd you learn all that? At Kaer Morin. Kaer Morin? That's terribly far. But you learned a great deal on the road as well, surely. Would you tell me about it? It'd make for a long story. All right. We need a quiet spot, some good mead, and... What do you say? Some other time, maybe. Hmm. Must admit that's not the answer I expected. Thought you'd want to celebrate your victory. Though, of course, I understand you might be in a rush. Good luck on the path. ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers in doing so. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory to us? No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. Hmm. All right. 
You lead the way then. One. Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches or us to have led you here. We're grateful. And will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude. Not so much with coin. Oh, hi. Sorry. After glow of the battle, we're still caught up. Damn you, slice them good. Here, for you. Thanks. Farewell. Showed him, didn't I? Seen sirens around here before? Aye, of course. They fly in from Unvik, the isle cursed by the gods. Damn she beasties. But enough chatter. My brother awaits. Thanks for the help, stranger. Your gods grant ye health. Geralt! 